You're risking your life, you could get robbed, you could get attacked, or worse. So we're gonna put that to the test today. Ahora soy un gitano. Now I'm a real gypsy. <laughs> you guys, this is Latin America. How's it going? Esto puede hacer daño, eh? Parte hueso, Eli. Es un gallo, un ejemplar de gallo de pelea español. Al campo de batalla, yo volveré. El chapo, el chapo no, Guzmán. No, 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 no. Están los gitanos una rata, claro. Pero ser gitano es ser bueno, ser sencillo, ser humilde. I think you guys that gypsies are very misunderstood. I really do. I really think they're misunderstood. This is Malaga, November 2023. When everybody else is bundling up, we've got people here sunbathing in the beaches of the Costa del Sol. Oh, we can do a loop with like, like, like hey guys, finger. where are you from? Uh, UK. 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 What are you doing? What are you UK. making a video for YouTube? Oh, nice. <laughs> what do you guys uh, think of Malaga for vacation? Yeah, it's amazing, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. What are you looking at, you fucking can? <laughs> <laughs> that guy just took the piss out of me, but I'll take it. <laughs> ¿Qué cambios ha visto aquí en la Malagueta tras los años, esta zona? Antes era muy malagueño, ahora puro guiri, ¿no? Bueno, sí, <laughs> prácticamente sí. Cada año estamos mejor, la cosa va mejorando, hay más turismo, hay más gente, y la verdad que eso nos conviene más. Well, you guys, Miguel's the one Balaganian that's left in this area that's just full of tourists, as you guys can see. We've got Brits, we've got Swedes, Americans, Canadians. The floodgates have opened in Malaga, and for better or for worse, it's probably never going to be the same. But did you guys know that once upon a time, this city had humble beginnings? You can imagine, this whole area wasn't full of condos, high-rises, hotels. It was full of shacks and fishermen, fruit pickers and sugar factories. Something that for us nowadays in the year 2023 is quite hard to understand. La variedad de aquel lado son de gente de dinero, limonal, pedregalé. Eran sobre todo un pueblo de pescadores, casitas pequeñas y gente que se dedicaba al mar. Y de hecho, esta playa no existía, era rocas. En Málaga capital no había playa. Nowadays, in 2023, Málaga is definitely one of the fastest growing and even most expensive cities in all of Spain, behind Madrid and Barcelona, of course. We've got amazing tourist infrastructure, an international airport, a massive port that we see here with the cruise ship that will bring you all over the Mediterranean Sea, shipping docks that have goods that are coming from the Americas, perhaps cocaine from Colombia, definitely hashish from northern Morocco. Look, we've even got a cruise ship that will bring you to the North African Spanish enclave, the city of Melilla. I bet you guys have never heard of Melilla. Cuando escuchas Los Asperones, ¿qué te viene a la mente? Sí, es una barriada marginal de Málaga que se creó la fuera de Málaga para gente sin recursos y que el ayuntamiento los puso allí que se supone que iba a ser eh, temporal. En cada ciudad de España existe una realidad alternativa que muchos, por ejemplo, los guiris nunca sabrán claro. que esto existe. Pero después hay barriadas como las 3.000 viviendas de Sevilla que es incluso más marginal que la propia de los Asperones. En todas las ciudades de España está la parte céntrica turística, pero después hay barriadas. Igual, sí. igual que en Brasil están las, las favelas, en una zona que está lejos de Copacabana y todas las playas, está en Brasil hay también una barriada. But behind the rose-colored glasses that us tourists or new expats often wear is an alternate reality in Spain and in many of these cities that we've never seen. We don't even know they exist. Hola. I know you from a video. You know, you know me from a video? Yes. I've got an honest question. <laughs> okay. Do you think there are bad neighborhoods or dangerous or poor neighborhoods in Spain? Uh, there's all of that everywhere. There is in the world. In the world. It's everywhere you go. But like, have you heard of any, you know, Bronx, New York? Everyone knows don't go to the Bronx, New York. Or everyone knows don't go to the south side of Chicago. Would you think that a place like that exists here in Malaga? Mm, no, I don't get that vibe. I don't. I don't reside here, but I mean, just being here for a, a good amount of time, I don't think there's that kind of... You know, so it's, it's a very, very safe place. I would say not. it's safer for women, but I do want to relocate here actually, so that's what I'm looking into. Awesome. Where yeah. are you from? Originally Peru. ¿Eres peruana? Yes. ¿Y habla español entonces? Español también, sí. ¿Y te gusta el acento malagueño? 
sí, me gusta el acento malagueño, los europeos. Pero tú vives en Estados Unidos, ¿no? Vivo en Estados Unidos. She's definitely got an American accent. I was like, she's definitely from Miami. I was like, yes, I am. Oh my God, there we go, there we go. <laughs> ¿Y cómo You're te good. llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? Diana. Diana, Diana. Placer. Pues Diana, I've got to go to a place that no one knows exists in Malaga, so you'll see it on YouTube, all right? Oh, amazing. I'm going to show them an alternate reality. Awesome. All right. I follow your videos. Mucho also. gusto. Placer, encantado. Now, to understand that alternate reality that thousands of people live here in the southern part of Spain in the region of Andalusia, we have to head to the outskirts to see a reality of marginality, of poverty and potential danger. So let's catch the new metro in Malaga and head to the outskirts. But first, check out this beautiful Christmas scene here. And Genie from Aladdin, wow. Like I said, Malaga has it all. Davis Cup Finals 2023 here in Malaga. That's happening right now. Right next to the metro stop, wow. Let's go check out the new metro of Malaga. I can't believe how cheap this is. One euro and 30, 30 cents for this metro. Crikey. Here we go. Whee! We've made it to the outskirts of Malaga. This is what it looks like. Not a whole lot going on out here. I can guarantee you that very few, if any, tourists have been out here. We really don't have any buildings, a few industrial areas. Actually, a university is called Andalusia Tech. And so we're going to head into the Chabola, the shanty town as it's called. It's over here behind these trees. Now, if you were to ask any Mulligan about the Asperones, you saw that they say, well, it's a poor neighborhood. It can be a bit dangerous. I've actually been here before. I've been filming these videos in Spanish, going to predominantly gypsy neighborhoods. And of course, this is one of them. And many of the locals through the course of these videos have said, Elliot, you're a complete nutter for going to these places. What are you doing out there? You're risking your life. You could get robbed. You could get attacked or worse. So we're going to put that to the test today. But we're going to do it in English. And of course, we're going to encounter people who don't know English here. The majority of them probably don't speak any English. And so that leads me to my next point. The area we're going is actually an area of what's called social exclusion, exclusión social. Basically, it means it's like a slum, a proper slum. And it's even been labeled a third world ghetto or slum. And I'm not making that up. Those are words from a Spanish article that I read online. And that's because this area is an area that doesn't have access to things like medical centers, like big supermarkets, like shopping centers. We're basically in the middle of nowhere. Of course, now there's a road, but if you were to imagine in the late 80s and 90s, this was just dirt, desert, absolutely nothing was here. And people did live in proper shanty towns. Now they have, of course, upgraded some of the houses. They look a little bit nicer, but as you're gonna see, it is not very pretty so let's head into the neighborhood but yeah there is a chance that something could happen to me as always when i go into these places usually they don't but i've been in some really really tense and dangerous situations before but i still have my camera and so that's why i'm still making this video so let's go hola buenos dias buenas tu vives en los asperones no yo vivo en una milla para arriba como estas hijo voy a hacer un documental en inglés madre mía viene coches dangerous out here you guys all right. Oh, Tia! Wow! Jesus. Oh, God. Not safe out in these parts. So, this is the entrance, but I'm gonna take a little um, desvia, a little sidetrack because I see something over here I wanna investigate. And the thing that is scary about this place for me, <laughs> he says, be careful. Be ciao, ciao, gracias. He says, be careful. Madre mía, yeah. The thing that scares me is that once you're in, there's no way out. There's not like many exits. You gotta do a loop and there's only one way out. <sighs> I gotta be careful here because this is like not my land. They could get mad or they could be like, no problem. But here we have, I guess this is basically for chickens and pigs. Here we go. Check it out, a pig. Hey buddy. How's it going? Todo bien? Hola amigo. Hey. Buenos dias. Me amo Elliot. Bueno. Puedo ver? Yo soy el Giri. They know who I am, so I think we're good. I'm gonna check it out.
Hola, ¿todo bien? Por ahí, por ahí. Hola. Oh, vale, por aquí. Sí. Oh, ¿me conoces, no? Sí. Yo te conozco. Sí, yo también te conozco. De la fiesta, ¿no? Sí. All right, you guys, we're going to enter. Estoy grabando en inglés, pero también hablo en español, ¿vale? All right, so you guys. Vale, vale. These guys are actually really friendly. They accept me here because they know me. I don't think anyone could come here though, but uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so they don't live here. This is for chickens. Now, gypsies, this is controversial, but they, they like fighting chickens. They like doing chicken fights. You see this often in Latin America and it's technically banned. So some things I can't show on YouTube, but I can at least show where they're raising the chickens. Hola, hermano. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, bien. bien. Esto es donde creen los, los callos, ¿no? Callo de pelea. <laughs> Chicken fights, he said. Madre mía. ¿Qué tal tu día? Sábado por la tarde. Fiesta esta noche, ok. Seguro. <laughs> All right, you guys. It's a little playground. It's a playground for the chickens. Wow. <laughs> Hola, buenas tardes. Hola, bueno, tu colega. Y el cerdo ahí, el cochino, ¿no? Eh, el, el cerdo ahí en libertad. Pero para comida luego, ¿no? Eh, para, no, no, para, no. Este lo tenemos para... Para... Amigo, mascota. Ah, ahí está. Tu <laughs> they have that uh, pig out there for a pet. Not for eating, they said. Oh, wow. Vale. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo te amas? Tampoco. Estoy buscando a alguien que toca la guitarra y baila. Oh, eso en el barrio. ¿En el sí, barrio. en el barrio. ¿Alguno de vosotros cantáis? No. No. Vale. Vale, chicos, me meto en el barrio. I'm going into the neighborhood. Nos vemos, vale. Buena gente, buena gente. Chao. Que tengas una buena noche, vale. Hasta luego. All right, guys. Super chill. Hasta luego. Vale. Nos vemos. Aquí, por aquí. Oh, por aquí. Ya resto por allá. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hola. Hola. Wow, an alternate reality, you guys. So this is where they throw most of their trash. And I think the city comes here and digs it out and takes some of it away, but obviously sanitation is a big problem here. Here they're building a new house. So, this looks pretty nice. And there's a dog there. He actually looks friendly. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Hola. Look at him. He's not barking at me. He likes me. Even the dogs are nice here. I guess you guys could call me the Gypsy Whisperer because in Bulgaria, all the Bulgarians thought it was absolutely crazy as well. Hola, señor. Buenas tardes. ¿Qué haces? ¿Estás buscando algo? Chatarra o alumino? Chatarra y alumino. ¿Necesitas algo? ¿Quieres, quieres eh, beber algo? ¿Una cerveza? Sí, hombre, que le da algo. Le da algo, te agradezco. Pues vamos por dentro, vamos en el barrio en un ratico, ¿vale? Oh, eso está para allá. Pues bueno, aquí se ve. ¿Cómo te llamas? Pepito. Pepito se llama. He's a, his name is Pepito. I'm not sure what he's looking for. There's no scrap metal here. This is just trash. Wow. Jesus. They're burning uh, trash here. Obviously, not good. Uh, so that's another thing. It comes with education, right? Taking the trash out, cleaning your neighborhood, keeping it tidy. Like I said, education is very low here. I think that could be fixed and I think progress could be made in that regard. And in fact, you know, when this barrio was made in the late 80s because of floods in the city center, there was a massive flood, lots of people died. And that's why the government made this because these people were already living in bad situations and they had to give them housing somewhere. So we're gonna head in here. Venga Pepito, vamos. Come on, venga. All right, he doesn't want to come. I wanted to bring him to the store. There is a little store in there. Yeah. Oof. It smells.
Hola, hermano. Eh, es una cámara. Soy, soy el Giri. ¿Puedo ver? ¿Puedo verlo? No. Vale. Venga, no pasa nada. Chao. I heard that guy was um, hammering scrap metal. A lot of people here actually live from scrap metal because that's something that sells copper, aluminum, other things. Wow. This is a complete different reality than what you would see in the center of Malaga. I mean, just look at it. Hola. I'm actually here looking for a friend, a family friend. So I met people here on my first time recording. <laughs> and um, I invited his family to a barbecue. No scrabo, no scrabo, tranquilo. Si? Sí? Hey, yo te conozco, Maria, no? No, India. India. ¿Y dónde está Manuel? ¿Qué? No, So they love the camera and they hate the camera. No, 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 Granadino, Granadino, Polígono Norte. Vale, vale. Hasta luego. Buen barrio. Vale, vamos India. All right. ¿Cuántos años tienes India? Ocho, nueve. nueve. So India here, she was in the first video I filmed, coincidentally. Wow, this barrio was huge. And her and a little boy named Manuel showed me the area and the people in Malaga absolutely loved it. And it went uh, on the news. It was a pretty good video. And so I'm looking for that same family because I want to invite them to a barbecue in December and I want to bring them to see the Christmas lights in Malaga because actually in these neighborhoods, these people don't have those opportunities all the time. You guys, this is Latin America. Seriously. I'm going to have to cut this part because of the music, copyright music, but... India, ¿cómo va el colegio? ¿Mal? ¿Bien? Vale. ¿Dónde están? Hasta la tarde o a la noche no vienen. Vale. Pues no he perdido aquí? el número de Jesús. Eh, no tiene WhatsApp. All right, mission accomplished. I've talked to the family. I'm going to come back here in December. Now I got to go back to the gauntlet. Está siempre fiesta, fiesta. <laughs> fiesta. Fiesta, mira. Música, chatarra. Mira, uh, mira, a costa de la chatarra, vino la chatarra. Esto es chatarra. Y fue bebé, bebé. What is that? Ron? Ron? Ron sí, Bartelón. <laughs> Alright, you guys are drinking rum and this is the uh, chatarra, which is the scrap metal, as they say. This is a lot of money. Vale, mucho dinero o qué? Bueno, mucho poco, dinero, ay, ay, poco, ay, Suficiente poco, para comer, para eh, comer y comprar wiki. Eso. Eh, ¿no? <laughs> <laughs> Había un, una época en los años 90, 2000, que era más peligroso o no mucho? Bueno, porque antes había más drogas, ahora ya hay menos drogas. Menos drogas. ¿A qué se dedican la mayoría de las personas entonces? Mira ahí, mira ahí está. Chatarra. That's what they live from, you guys. So, like I said, they have to live from this. Of course, some people live from drugs, as he said, but it's not widespread. So, if you go to a place like La Línea de la Concepción or uh, Almería, where you see a lot of drug trafficking, uh, you'll see a lot nicer neighborhoods. Hey. ¿Sois felices? Claro, si no. Es más feliz del mundo. Os invito a una cerveza. No, estamos viendo... Te pido yo a ti un whisky, yo a ti. Oh, okay, look at it. They're, they even want to get me drunk on whisky. Vale. Yo no... I have an eight, so I'm going to get drunk really fast. Vale, vale. Socio, o rebujo o guacola. Ahí está. A la roca, a la roca. A la roca. A la roca. o guacola? Red Bull, Red Bull. Hopefully they don't pour something like drugs in there. Ay, Red Bull, Red Bull. Oh, wow. Que suba, que suba. Que suba, he says. So it goes to your head, goes to your head. Salud, salud. Salud, salud. Vamos a brindar, vamos a brindar. Vamos, 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 vamos a brindar. Eso es, salud. Salud, gente. Forza la cañerú, él lo sabe. Yo siempre digo esto en mis videos. I always say that my videos, Forza la cañerú. Forza la Oh. Suena gracioso de un guiri, ¿no? ¿Cómo, cómo se llama? Giro, giro, giro. Se llama Giro. Es muy guapo, eh. El del pito. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
Oh my god, that's so funny. That's the mode of transport here. So basically, you guys, to, to fit in with these guys, you have to be really good at joking around in Spanish. The word for that is called cachondeo. If you're really good at cachondeo or joking around, taking the piss out of someone, you're gonna fit right in with these guys. Venga, baila! He says I'm more gypsy than them. All right, guys, I'm gonna continue to see the barrio. Hey. Huh. He says they're dangerous. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. Oh. Chicos, ya vengo, vale? He says, be careful. No, Scrabo, tranquilo. <laughs> they're not dangerous. <laughs> Hola, señorita. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Bien? All right, you guys. We're going to continue our tour because we have to see some things here and we have to go to the store. Jesus, they just blast the music so loud that you can't hear anything. Wow, check out this house. Is this like a little altar or something? I don't know what it is. But uh, this neighborhood's full of surprises. Hola, como estas? <laughs> he says, I gotta pay him. Voy a echar un ojo al colegio, vale? All right, you guys. So check it out. All right, the kids are finding out. Oh my God, this happens to me in a lot of my videos. They all come running. Oh my God. Check it out, you guys. This is the school in Los Asperones, eh? Es su colegio? Sí, el mío, el mío. ¿Y tú? ¿Y la clase de inglés? Sí. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Dolores. Dolores? What's your name? Antonio. Antonio? Jose. Jose? Wow, look at you guys. They speak English in Los Asperones. Dolores, Jose, and Antonio. Wow. Un momentico, vale? So you guys, we have here the school and all these stars here are students who have graduated from high school. That's right, high school. So we only have, I don't know, some 30 to 50. And at the very top, there's a golden star and that is for the one person in the whole barrio, in the history of the barrio, who graduated with a university degree. So as you can tell, education is something hard to come by in this neighborhood. So after you get done with elementary school you have to go to another neighborhood to attend another school so you can see how the social exclusion takes part in this place because sometimes people might not have transport they don't have buses they don't have a way to get to the school but yeah something that you would never imagine in a first world country like Spain Una pregunta ¿Por qué hay tanta basura? Porque cuando tiras la basura no la tiras la basura ¿Pero crees que está bien o mal? Mal, bien Pues chicos Esto contamina el, el medio ambiente. Esto contamina todo, ¿eh? Y queremos vivir en una sociedad limpia, ¿no? Porque para nuestra salud, ¿sabe? Voy a seguir por el barrio. Un placer, José, ¿no? José, Antonio, Antonio. Dolores, ¿vale? Dile adiós. Adiós. Chao, chao. All right, really nice kids, you guys. You can see how nature versus nurture really takes a role in a place like this, right? These people do have Southern Andalusian Malaga values to some degree. You can see the people are nice here. You can see that they take care of their family. Of course, you know, garbage, that's a different thing, uh, but that can be taught through education. But you can see it's vastly different than a dangerous neighborhood in the United States. Obviously it's marginal, but nothing like the south side of Chicago or St. Louis or Compton, none of that. All right, you guys, let's keep going through the hood. There's a tienda here, wow. Tienda. Tienda in Spanish is store. But it uh, doesn't look like anyone's inside, so we'll continue. Some chicken cages here. This is, I guess, for making a fire. <laughs> Lots of surprises. Very chill, very chill. We have some nice mountains in the background. You know, this could be a tourist experience, you guys. What if I started a business where I bring you to places that you would never imagine existed in Spain. That would be a fun business model, eh? You would be surprised. Some of these houses are actually pretty nice on the inside. Let's take a look at the basketball court where the kids play for school. Huh. I don't know if any Michael Jordans are coming from this uh, neighborhood, but they like football here. I'm sure there's people who have made it into the Spanish league that come from neighborhoods like this, football players. Definitely that's happened. 
But it's a point of contention in Spain, right? The welfare handouts versus, yeah, having to work and pay taxes for people like that. And so one of the issues with this barrio and barrios like this is that they've tried to get these people to go and move into the city. But if you don't have a lot of money, it's very hard because Malaga is now very expensive. So that's one issue. The other issue is uh, integration, social integration. How do you go live in pisos where there's lots of people live when they like to have parties that are loud? It's very difficult, but of course there's people who have integrated into society, but you don't have to hear about those people, right? Because they don't make the news. You only hear about the bad stories, except for the one guy who did graduate. So it's a tough task to tackle, right? Romani gypsies that come from India, and of course they migrated west centuries and centuries ago and they made it all throughout Europe and they've of course made their own settlements. Some of them have integrated into society, others haven't. And so this is what you see here, basically the remnants of that. It's quite a big neighborhood, check it out. We have fig trees here, some big caña, which is cane, the long grass. It's like a tropical area here in summer. And this is what it looks like here in the month of November, late November. Yeah guys, it's really bad. I mean, everywhere you go, I would say this is the biggest problem of the barrio, right? Trash everywhere. It's kind of sad to see because it's, yeah, like I said, something that could easily be avoided. I mean, we have this here. I'm not actually sure how frequently the city comes to collect. I know that the town halls and the governments have made massive efforts throughout the decades to help people like this. They've given them uh, apartments for free and a lot of them didn't want those free apartments, so they got them for free, they didn't like it because there was mixtures of locals, non-gypsies, what are called pios, and there was mixtures of new immigrants coming in and they didn't want to integrate with them, they wanted to stay here, so that's why a place like this still exists, among other reasons. Eso es una tienda. Vale. Si? Cuénteme, ¿cómo te llamas? Yo Carmen. Carmen? ¿Y qué tal el barrio? Muma, muma. Pero Carmen, ven. Que eh. tengo que ir, ya que pasa. Ah, vale. Si me conocen, tu, cre tu creciste aquí. Yo Cre sí. Creaste aquí. Sí. ¿Y qué tal? Uma, uma. No te gusta, Carmen. No. You can see she's camera shy. Dime. Everyone here knows me, guys. It's crazy. Hola, señorita. Hola, amigo. <laughs> ¿Cómo estás? No te gusta. Muy bien, muy bien. No. Amigo, tan pica vení, eh. Sí. Oh, Yo no. te conozco también. <laughs> Perdón. Chicas. Oh my god, everyone's calling me. What do I do? They all want a piece of me. Ya vengo, ya vengo. Bye, boy, boy. Hey. Como estas, hermano? Oh, he's hugging me really strong. Oh, he loves me. Tú eres mi novio, okay? Tú sí. Aquí tenemos una fiesta, okay? Una fiesta gitana. Una fiesta gitana, vale. ¿Qué tal, hermano? Todo bien, todo bien. bien. bien, bien. Oh, estáis fumando, ¿ah? Huh? Aquí hay de todo, hay de, hay de todo. Un poco de cachimba. En el YouTube. Sí, claro, esto es YouTube, YouTube hermano. YouTube. ¿Cómo estás? Todo bien. bien. Gracias bien. a Dios, gracias a Dios. ¿Qué? Ya vengo, ya vengo. Oh my God, you guys. This is just a massive gypsy party. Oh, wow, wow. Oh, hola, chicos. Oh, wow. Oh. They, those guys could do some damage to me. Aquí Elio, tranquilo. Una fiesta, eh, una hoguera porque hace mucho frío, ¿no? Sí. Mucho frío. Te pego un tortazo. ¿Quieres darme un tortazo? Sí. Nah, nah, nah. Es duro, a ver. Esto oh. puede hacer daño, ¿eh? Este hace parte hueso, Elio, mira. Oh, oh, otra vez, otra vez. Mira ahí. He's saying that could do a lot of damage to me. He could break my bones, he said. Oh my God. He's just joking though, you guys. Esto es para cocinar, ¿ok? Sí, Elio, para de comer ahora. So this is how they do a, a barbecue here, you guys. They put a grill over this. This is a bathtub. Wow. A gypsy bathtub. Oh my God. And they cook food. ¿Qué vas a cocinar? Chuletas, chorizo. De todo, de todo, de todo. Vale, hijo, échalo, échalo. Échalo ahí, chato. Vale, de Hey, muy bien, hombre. Dame un puñetazo, un puñetazo. Panceta, chorizo, morcilla de arroz. Es que hoy hoy se pide la niña, la boda, preparando para la boda. Ok. ¿Qué es un pedimiento? Para ser novio, formales. 
que lo sepa la familia. Entonces, tu novio te pide el matrimonio. Claro. Ya somos novios y en enero nos casamos. ¿Qué busca una mujer gitana en un hombre? ¿Qué busca? ¿Qué te gusta en un hombre? Que sea formal, que no salga de fiesta, que sea trabajador. All right. Bueno, está bueno, él. The, the women here are very, um, they're very traditional. Muy traditional. Atripara el sepa la bola, la bola, la bola. Atripara el sepa la bola, la bola, la bola. Esa novia que bonita, bonita, bonita. ¡Que viva esa novia! Hey. Wow, look it. They really care about their weddings here. Estamos arreglando ya la casa. Okay, vamos a ver una casa gitana. All right, check it out, you guys. Nice floors, beautiful paint. A fireplace, un para para hogueras, okay. Television. Television. That's for television and a chimney. Wow, hombre, el baño. A ver. Check it out. No, wait, this is the kitchen, la cocina. Ah. Yo tío abuelo de toda la barriada. Ah, vale, vale, vale. He just walks around with a stick in case there's any bad guys that come here, eh? Check him out. Show me that stick. Enseñame el palo. Sí, yeah. He's saying don't fuck with me. He'll fuck me up if I fuck with him. All right. The bathroom. All right. The bedroom. Wow, you guys. On the outside, the houses look like they look. Some of them look good. But on the inside, a lot of them are very nice. Teteria. Para ti. He's going to show me a tea place. Oh, wow. Wow, this guy's got nunchucks. No, my God. Wow. A ver, can I see? A ver. Nunchucks. He's got nunchucks. <laughs> He's got nunchucks. <laughs> that guy could totally uh, do some damage to me. Alright, teteria. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Check it out. It's got everything. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this business. Oh my god. Wow. Hey, ya vengo, ya Everyone knows me here, you guys. It's crazy. She says, You're famous. Tú también, mi amor. <laughs> All right. Hola, señorita. Thank you. Wow. Mira. Sois emprendedores aquí. Check it out, you guys. You can have your tea here, smoke a joint. Fumar un porro, no? Porros. Drink some whiskey, drink some beer. Check it out, the whole barrio. Wow. I think, you guys, that gypsies are very misunderstood. I really do. I really think they're misunderstood. They have their problems just like normal people have their problems, you know? But, uh, of course, they like to show off for the camera, but these guys have received me. I didn't expect this. I thought I was going to do a one little walkthrough. Here we are. Check it out. The grandma's down there. That's a workshop. There's a TV right there. Look at the decor. These guys do care. They're, they're trying to make some business in the barrio. Of course, this is for them because tourists aren't going to come here. Madre mia. Oh, wow, you guys. Another fire. It's a wheelbarrow fire. A wheelbarrow with a fire. Oh, my God. Eso es lo que hace durante el invierno para mantener el palo, ¿no? This is the southern coast of El Sol, but it does get a little bit cold here up in the mountains, you know? We're not on the beach. You, you understand me speaking? Do you like California? California. California está en América. Pero adivina de dónde soy, de dónde soy yo. I said, guess where I'm from? She says, well, you're from your mommy and daddy. They live very well. They live really good here, you guys. What kind of beer is Cruz Campo or Victoria? Alhambra, Alhambra. Alhambra. The best beer in Spain, Alhambra. De Granada, from Granada. You guys, we're going to see inside a little business here. Let's check it out. It looks like an outhouse, but it's actually a business. Toto. 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 So he's the one who has the tea shop and he has this little kiosk here. And he's got me Alhambra. Quanto vale? 150. 150. One year and. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. I feel bad. He's saying it's for free. Take it. I want to support them, but that's their hospitality. Look at that's a bottle opener. No lo pongas en tu boca. No, 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 no,
Para Málaga, para Málaga. Perone, los perones, Málaga, para... Asperones. Para Málaga, Asperones. Eso. Hello, Américo. Hello, América. 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 Do you like, te gusta los americanos? Me gusta la americana. Hey, he likes American women, he said. <laughs> Oh, vale, yo compro uno, eh. Five years, everything here is so cheap, you guys. This one's got the bowl. Here, esto, este. Sí. All right, put it on. Ahora, 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 ahora. Ahora soy un gitano. Now I'm a real gypsy. Soy, ahora soy un gitano de verdad. Ahora, ahora, un gitano solo. Now I'm a cool gypsy, he said. Cheers to that. Salud. Well, you guys were lucky enough to have a really nice guest here. He's came to sing for me and he's going to give us some great answers on gypsy culture here in Spain. Gitano, gitano es una raza, claro. Pero ser gitano es ser bueno, ser sencillo, ser humilde, el respeto hacia nuestros mayores, somos muy familiares. Eso es ser gitano. ¿Tú crees que eres una inspiración para los jóvenes del barrio, entonces? Yo creo que sí, porque conforme han ido pasando los años, han salido muchos niños aquí cantando y yo he sido un punto de referente para ellos. No yo solo, no, varios más, pero cantamos flamenco, la rumba, balada, rumba, sobre todo rumba, balada y cosas de estas. The Americans, Canadians, English people, Germans, Scandinavians, they all want to hear. El barrio de los perones, donde yo me he criado, donde yo me he criado, donde yo me he criado. Tombola, que me toca la tombola, con la rubia y la morena, con la dos me voy a casar. Tombola, que me toca la tombola, con la rubia y la morena, con la dos me voy a casar. Me toca el corazón mucho. Mucho Muy gusto, Cone. Igualmente. Gracias por enseñar el mundo de, de, tu, de tu canción, de tu barrio y de, de la palabra de los gitanos, ¿vale? Gracias a ustedes. Un saludo para todos. Vamos eh. a ver los gallos de pelea. De pelea. Wow. Te pilla la cámara. Oh, hay cámara. Sí, hay cámara y todo. They have their own security here. So these chickens. Estos gallos son para pelear. Sí, para el combate. A ver, es un gallo que estaba arreglando para el combate. Es un gallo, un ejemplar de gallo de pelea español. Mira este homenaje a los bosques. Los hombres más fuertes de, de los asperones. Eso es. We're not going to see a fight, you guys, because YouTube censors that, and of course, I don't agree with it. But uh, again, I respect their culture, so. I am so far from the rest of civilization in Malaga. We're gonna keep smoking some cachimba with the with the people. Vosotros os gusta hamburguesas, no? Pero 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 jamón. Tu hamburguesa, yo jamón. Si yo soy americano, tú español. ¿Qué tal la hamburguesa española? Cuéntalo allí. La hamburguesa de aquí es mejor que la hamburguesa americana. De cerdo. Lo matamos nosotros y no lo comemos. ¿En serio? Claro. Que los que están ahí abajo en el puente lo matamos y no lo hacemos nosotros. Jesús Cristo. Claro. So he's saying that, yeah, he, they have the pigs, they kill them, and they make a burger out of pig, a pork burger, wow. Venga, gracias, cocodrilo. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're having a great time in the party here. We're here in the barrio late at night. I asked the guys where can I take a pee, and they uh, just told me right here in the trash. So, gonna take a little break. Manda saludos a las chicas americanas. Americana, yo tengo mi chica. Muchas gracias por recibirme y que viva los asperones. Cone, una fiesta completa. Ha pasado bien, ¿no? Aro, aro. Cone, recibido. Muy bien. Eres bien recibido. Un abrazo. Igualmente.
Vamos a quedar otra vez, ¿vale? Vale. ¿Dónde está la parte de esto, no? Tira por ahí y el tráfico está ahí. Sabe, ¿no? Sí. Now the darkness awaits me. I have to go through the whole barrio. Vamos, Negrita. Vamos por aquí. All right, I got the old guy, Negrita. ¿Cuántos años tienes? Yo, 58. 58. He's 58. He looks like he's 75. Mr. Negrita here, he wants a fix of his cocaine, so I'm gonna break a change and give it to him so he just leaves me alone. Actually, everyone in the barrio is like taking care of me. They're like, don't go with him. Hola. Hola, buenas. ¿Qué quieres? Eh, una cerveza. ¿Cómo estás? Mira, mira, mira. ¿Tienes un chihuahua? Sí. Oh, mira. Check it out. This is your dog. Do you, do you speak English? Mira, saluda la cara. Ella es español, ella es de Córdoba. Eres cordobesa. Oh my god. ¿Te gusta Málaga? Sí, mucho. Pero vives aquí. Con su perrito. ¿Te parece? ¿Dónde eres? América. De América. América. América Negrita. América Negrita. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm safe in the store. All right, these guys are protecting me. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Vamos, vamos, Cone. Te van a hacer un favor, te van a llevar ahí todo ahí al tren, ¿eh? Vale, vamos. Buenas noches, mi gente. Gracias. Nos vemos en diciembre. Yo vuelvo en diciembre, ¿vale? No creemos, no, no creemos. Le corté la cabeza. No, y la paura y el corazón, el corazón y la centraña. Y un tometón que hay que echarlo dedo por la boca. ¿Cómo ahora? All right. Está amarillo. Él está enferrado, ¿eh? Está enferrado. Sí, está un poco enfadado. Yo te llevo. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué está enferrado? Ah. Yo le di cinco pavos. No, no hace ¿Para qué? No hace falta que... Para le dejarme en paz. Montate aquí. All right. All right, all right. All right. You guys, they're uh, taking me in my car. In their car. What nice people.